Hey guys, it's Ave Joshi again with a new video tutorial in Java programming language. So today we're gonna learn about suspending and resuming a thread in Java, and how to do that. Okay, so let's start. Here you can see that we have two classes. The first one is my class two, which is the main class. It means that it includes the main method, while the second is is class A, which implements the runnable interface. It is defined with the public void run method, which is defined inside the runnable interface. Okay. So suspending means actually pausing a thread and resuming means actually resuming a thread. So that's really simple. In the earlier versions of Java, which means the Java 1.1 and around 1.2, there were methods like void suspend and resume inside the thread method, thread class. But suspend and resume method are deprecated now. I don't know the actual reason why they are deprecated, but you can't use it now because they are deprecated. So we use another protocol, which is the flag method protocol, which I will demonstrate right here so that you can actually learn it and use suspend and resume functionality in Java. Okay, so let's start. Sorry for that. Boolean want to call to false. Okay, string name call to null for some time and thread t. Okay, this takes a name again and equal to n. Okay, t equal to new thread. Now this and name. That's cool. Now here we are spelling mistake and t dot star. Okay. So no, this is not the inside this the run method. This must be inside the constructor public a which straight string n. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so let's first just put this inside the try and catch block because we're gonna use some sort of exception handled now synchronized void suspend okay want to suspend equal to true synchronized void resume want to suspend equal to false Okay, that's cool. Now, okay, inside the for loop, anti i equal to zero, i is less than five, and i plus plus. Thread dot current thread dot get name plus plus i. That's cool. That's actually cool thread dot current thread dot sleep for thousand milliseconds I guess and inside the synchronized block synchronized this object while want to suspend equal equals to true we're gonna wait for the notify signal and we're gonna put notify inside here Not, that's cool now this all things are synchronized because wait and notify must be put inside the synchronized method. Okay, so let's call it out. What's the class name? A. A equal to new A. Now we need to give it a string name which is T1. And A B equal to new A. And T2 for that. That will do. Let's first check that they actually do run or not. Oh yeah, that there is. We're gonna stop it right here. Now, what we're gonna do is suspending the first thread. We're gonna call the a dot suspend map. Okay. Okay. So you can see here that the first thread is suspended actually, and the second thread keeps on running. Now, after some time. We will resume the first head. Now, 
Okay, that's cool. Resume the first track. A dot resume. Here you can see uh, that it it doesn't feel like that it actually suspended and uh, it actually resumed, but it actually did. You can see here. Okay, so this is how we do suspend and resume a thread. This is a simple protocol of resuming and suspending a thread using the flag method. This is the actually this is actually our flag. Okay, so this is all for this mini tutorial on suspending and resuming thread. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. So for great content, keep liking, keep sharing. Thank you, and I. I mean, thank you and have a nice day.